What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laudacuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. We continue our series looking at the top six free agents and their five most likely landing spots. The first episode, we covered Carlos Correa. Now we look at the second shortstop on the market, Trevor Story. Now, when it comes to Trevor Story, this is a much more interesting candidate, in my opinion, than Carlos Correa. I think Carlos Correa stays at shortstop and later on will move over to third base. When it comes to Trevor Story, however, I think that there are teams looking at him as a center fielder, shortstop, or potentially even second base heading into the 2022 campaign. So we're going to look at five potential landing spots for a guy like Trevor Story. But before we get into it, make sure if you haven't already done so, you smash that subscribe button down below as it does a huge service for us here in growing this community. Tell all your baseball friends that this is the channel to watch in 2022. Now, when we look at Trevor Story going into the 2022 campaign, one of the teams that I think that has a possibility to sign Trevor Story is his very own Colorado Rockies. We heard rumors that the Rockies were interested in bringing him back. They did not trade him at the deadline, which was something that everyone thought was going to be the case. They thought that he was going to be moved at the deadline, but with the Rockies holding on to him, there is a potential for a reunion there, in my opinion. Now, however unlikely that is, I think it comes down to the financials. But as I said about Carlos Correa, I think that when it comes to this new CBA that we're going to have to have once this lockout is over, Trevor Story could find himself much more easily signing on with his old team. Now, as we look at the fourth team on my list, this is one of the two teams that I have on this list that could be looking at Trevor Story as a center fielder, and that is the Seattle Mariners. Now, I think when you look at what Seattle has to offer, they have the biggest potential, in my opinion, to be a sleeper candidate in 2022. They have the longest running postseason drought of any team across Major League Baseball. And when you look at what they have to do, getting a team that can be solidified offensively and defensively is going to better help them. That's a very expansive ballpark in T-Mobile Park, formerly known as Safeco Field. And having a player like Trevor Story who can either be versatile as an infield player or an outfield player could really help them. I think when you look at where Trevor Story's career is headed, it could very easily be that he moves to the opposite side of the diamond or moves out to center field. The Mariners, in my opinion, are a potential spot for Trevor because I think that with his skill set, he could help some of those younger players continue to grow and be a new reckoning force in that Mariners lineup. Now, as we look at the third team on my list, this is another team that could potentially use Trevor Story as a center fielder, and that is the Boston Red Sox. Yes, the Red Sox would make a trade prior to this lockout to bring back Jackie Bradley Jr., who is known predominantly as a defensive first center fielder with a very little bat. Bringing in a right-handed option like Trevor Story could help the Red Sox really push forward and re-solidify the full length of their lineup. Yes, Kike Hernandez did a great job for them, but going into the 2022 campaign, using Kike as a full utility star as he always has been during his time with the Dodgers will help the Red Sox lengthen that lineup even more. Having a right-handed platoon option for Jackie Bradley Jr. and a late game offensive pinch hitting threat will truly help this team solidify themselves. Now the Red Sox could also look to bring in Trevor Story and use him as a second baseman. We know that the left side of the infield for the Boston Red Sox is set for years to come with Xander Bogarts and Rafael Devers, but solidifying that second base spot could really help Boston materialize into a big time threat in 2022. Now, the next team on my list is that of the New York Yankees for the same reason that we mentioned about them being connected to Carlos Correa. They need a shortstop. Gleyber Torres cannot be the guy that they look to to man that position in 2022. He already got bumped off the position back to second base by the end of the 2021 campaign. And heading into this new season, the Yankees need something that is solid at that position. Now, while Trevor Story is no longer the defender that he once was looked at, this is still going to be a guy who plays better defense than Glaber Torres at that spot. You also add in the fact that he has his former double play partner in DJ LeMay, who already in the Yankees fold. This will absolutely help the Yankees bring that cohesive unit back to the Bronx. 
That being said, I do think that the Yankees would look at a guy like Trevor Story potentially over Carlos Correa as a shorter term option, leading the way to bring up Anthony Volpe, who is their top shortstop prospect, who's probably about two to three years away. A shorter term deal for Trevor Story could easily see him playing shortstop in the Bronx next season. Now the last team on my list would be that of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I think when you look at what this team needs, there needs to be a lot more consistency from their lineup in terms of health. And yes, Trevor Story can be a little bit of an injury concern. However, when you look at what he's been able to do when he's on the field, this could also help to lengthen the lineup of the Angels and really bring a new dynamic to this team. The Angels are a team that absolutely should be dominating and winning and getting to the postseason each and every year. They have the best player in Mike Trout that we've ever seen. And they've squandered away the prime of his career, in my opinion. And now you have the Japanese Babe Ruth, who arguably is even better because Babe Ruth wasn't doing it at the same exact time. Shohei Otani is one of the most dynamic talents that we've ever seen step foot on a baseball field. And this is an opportunity for the Angels to go big in the right way. Obviously, they've spent a lot of money over the last couple of decades by bringing in guys like Albert Pujols, Josh Hamilton that faltered. Big time money deals for players that were in the wrong spots. Having a guy like Trevor Story, you can use him in a variety of spots. You can have him play shortstop. You can move him to second base. But you can put him in the middle of the lineup to help protect Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. But again, I want to hear your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. Let me know your feelings about where Trevor Story should find himself playing in 2022. If you feel that my list has been wrong, let me know that down in the comment section below as well. And we'll discuss it further. As always, keep it locked in here to the Baseball Banter broadcast all season long as we're going to be bringing you continued coverage over the world of Major League Baseball. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys with the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.